and welcome to another episode of Monster Paws Gaming. This time, instead of an actual video game, we are doing a reaction to a film. This is one of the very obscure films that um, you run across of by hearsay, and hearsay alone. The movie in question is called Meet the Feebles, which from what I understand is a very adultish film, and it's like Muppets Gone Wild seen through the eyes of backstage what like what goes on backstage is the down dirty <laughs> junk that goes on the reason i say it's like the muppets gone wild is because it's a completely puppeted movie there's puppets um that involve some very disgusting things from what i understand and so me and misfit both being the adults we are thought eh, we, we, will, we will do a reaction video to this. Um, you may not see the entire film, which is probably for the best. We're just going to like splice us into the best parts of the video. Um, that and it ensures that if you anyone is interested in watching the whole film from beginning to end, you have every right to do so, but we're just warning you beforehand. Um, it, from what I understand, it's pretty gross. Yeah. As far as films go. Um, that's probably why it's one of the more obscure films. Um, so, with that said, let's get started with the gross adult film, shall we? Yes. Impulse film. Zeet. I, I don't know what that is. Ladies. And gentlemen, uh, that wing nut. That's the thing you get on your face after puberty, Welcome right? To the newest, the I don't know. What was the wing nut films? Show in entertainment Ow. history. Put your hands together for the fabulous Feebles. Fabulous? Did he just say fabulous? It almost sounded like fabulous. Because it, 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 it sounds like a P, not a B. I, I'm pretty sure fap. Is, is not something you want to say about it. Nah, that's pretty much like the last damn thing this movie could ever be. Oh god, that high, high voice. Ow. So are your boobs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is when she said my talents are huge. Yeah, it, it, it did come to mind. Sue <laughs> her his her boobs. Right, Ooh. Move your ass. Oh well, bad word. Shame on you, rat. This is a children's show. I mean, children's movie. I've heard better singing from a mongoose with throat cancer. <laughs> oh, for a minute I thought she was losing her dress. I was like, please keep it on. What the? Oh my oh, god. Um. Well, oh, okay. I was just about to pop my cookies. That happened. That was uh, so that was a walrus I fucking was cat. Finishing off some <laughs> the way those eyes move on these puppets. Excuse it's me. It's a drum I roll. Have <laughs> I have a here. That was horrible. <laughs> Shame on me. Shame on the UV! That, that was a misfit level fun. I should know. <laughs> yeah, because you are the misfit. <laughs> curtain call! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a curtain, that was an upskirt. Hedgehog C3PO. Oh, oh god. god. Fuck off, fly, you're ugly! So he's a hedgehog named Robert. Mm-hmm. Will that make him rob with a hedge? I have a feeling not a lot of people are gonna get that one. <laughs> what, Robbo the hedge? Yeah. 
Is that a camel with a cigarette? I think I think it's a Rastafari camel or some shit. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Don't rub yourself. You're ugly as shit. No one loves you. It's a trap. <laughs> Wow. Zootopia looks intense. At your age, I suppose you might as well let your figure go. How dare you insult me? You, you cheap pussy! <laughs> Cat, quit going for the hippo nipple. There is no milk there for you. What you mean? Oh, you... Oh, it sounds more like the... It sounds more like the touch of the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you look at the walrus's eyes, it looks like he's been doing a little bit of it, too. Yeah. Ew! What the shit? I had a bone stuck in my throat. Oh god, it's, okay. it's alive! It's alive! And you're like, ah, shit. Oh my god, he looks like Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> Dinosaurs! Or Komodo dragons or what? Eight ball. Better go back and look for a him. crocodiles? What the fuck are they? I'm, I think they're lizards of some form. But that one's face, it looked like Jar Jar Binks. Yo. Oh, Misa dead. <laughs> oh god, they're squinty eyed. <laughs> Oh god, oh that's so god. racist. So oh, racist. <laughs> oh shit. I, I saved it. I put me down. I've had just about enough of your goddamn compositions. Now, get back on the stage and do your job. Get the fox out of here. Call him a faggot. I think so. <laughs> Either called him a faggot or he went, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting on faggot though. Yeah, just I'm judging on the movie. <laughs> yeah. The big hippo woman just ordering everything. <laughs> she wants owl of it. Owl of <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> of course, my drum roll wasn't any better. <laughs> Literally, there was a drum that fell and started rolling, and I went, Hey, look, it's a drum roll! <laughs> it was horrible. Almost as bad as cra uh, Crotch Rat. I called the rat Crotch Rat because he was scratching his crotch. I thought that tree we were gonna end up lodged inside somewhere, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, giving this movie, I was expecting it to hit her in a certain area. Yep, Sam. Yeah. And become lodged. I don't think I've seen this. I've, I've seen something else. Surprisingly, have... no electrocutions, cornholing, or puking. He's getting his dick sucked by the cat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, really? It's everything like what she thinks, dumbass. You have pussy on your dick. <laughs> Literally. That came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came out just right for the situation. It came out just fine. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> Sorry. I have so. And I kind of want the rat to die. <laughs> Rip his You're ugly! Off. Nobody loves you! Oh, Jesus! Oh. Ooh, Corvo's gonna love this part. Is it just me? Or does that bulldog have junk in the front of his trunk? Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, shit. Go away, go away, go away. I'm gonna leave this oh, scene in for Corvo. Don't leave the after. dog, grab the rat. Stories again, haven't you? You got a problem with the audience?
Oh! Pulling his wings off. Even when I jiggle were. Mm. Oh, hippo nipples! Hippo nipples! Revolting, you look. No. You disgust me. Look at you. You're old and you're fat and you smell bad. No. I was gonna wait till after the show, but I might as well tell you now. You're through with the feebles. I don't need you. I got a syndicated series, and I'm grooming some man to be the star. Yeah. <laughs> Are there condoms that are inflated flying past? Yep. Oh, those are dickheads. That's what they are. Don't worry if you feel ashamed, it's been around for you. Thousands more than can be Oh my god. Don't worry about it. We're gonna have to, like, blur this shit out on YouTube as well. You know, some bullets aren't moving upwards. Mm -hmm. 40. Wait, did you see his entire case of guns and shit? Nope. I wasn't here for that. It. Oh, chicken with his head cut off. That is gonna be one traumatized baby. You should just load that like a fucking shotgun. Yep. He shot his kneecaps out. He got oh, shot fuck. in the knees. Both kneecaps. Fucking hell, this film is dark as shit. <laughs> I told you it wasn't for children. <laughs> Twig. I'm gonna have to get me dad to watch this. Like, nope. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't care what you've done. I love you so very, very much. Flying tea bag. Dead rat. Finally. The crotch rat has been eliminated. Finally. The intent is gone. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. Don't deep throat the gun. Why does it have to keep farting? Miss Heidi, I know you're a real star and all that, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to dob you in. Did you go shot in chest? 
I think it was in his shoulder or something. Play the garden of love. On a magic night, when the way you feel is a mystery. It's a bit fucked up, that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the entire movie is just. Yeah. Even from the point you watched, started watching with, with us, we'd only been like 17 minutes in, and there was like so many innuendos and shit from the very beginning. It was just, oh god. Yeah. And that's what between 17 minutes. This is an hour and 33 minute long film. Following extensive operation on his kneecap, Sydney purchased a small orchard and now lives as a struggling horticulturist with his son Seymour. Arthur received an OBE for lifelong service to the theater and retired to the country. Sebastian achieved worldwide fame for his bestseller, The Feeble Variety Massacre, One Man's Act of Heroism. He's currently negotiating the film rights. Robert and Lucille are married with two children. Robert is an award-winning fashion photographer of women's magazine. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh god, she's skinny again! After spring years in a female penitentiary, he has been rehabilitated in the community. Now works under new identity on the checkout counter at large supermarket. Directed by Peter Jackson. <laughs> wow, I am completely speechless after this movie, guys. Um, I think we all are. We're in a little bit of shock after this. I mean, I knew it was going to be bad and all, but I didn't know it was this level of bad. But, um, anyway, this has been UV along with Misfit and Twig for Monster Paws Gaming uh, Cinema. Um... Ending on a very bad note with Meet the Feebles. Mm -hmm. I am very sorry for your suffering along with us. Yeah, I think we're starting this up on a simultaneously very high and very low note.